guys, it's me, Risa. How you doing? I hope you're doing well. Are you staying on track? Are you focused? Are you determined to do this journey together? I hope so. Um, I'm just loving all of your comments and thank you so much for continuing to subscribe and tell people and share and uh, visit me at Weight Watchers Tips and Recipes on Facebook. Don't forget, the more the merrier. We're almost at 23,000 people. Um, anyways, I wanted to share this really nice side dish, super ridiculous, and I'm telling you, it is so easy recipe uh, with tomatoes. Um, I wish you could smell my kitchen because it's so garlicky right now. Um, I was out with my daughter a while back and um, they made these delicious little tomatoes with uh, garlic and olive oil and some salt and pepper and some cheese and they were super delicious and I love having different side dishes and when you have company it looks so cute and it smells so delicious and of course it tastes amazing. I've just cut up um, a couple tomatoes, well, one and a half because I made some already because I'll show you. And you just slice them in half easy. And all I'm doing is I'm taking for three um, a teaspoon of olive oil, but I, I took three tomatoes already and cut them up the other half. So about one tablespoon for three tomatoes, okay? If you're using more, you can add more. Um, my brand is three smart points for one tablespoon. So account for your nutritional value. Just check the nutritional facts and see and calculate it. Okay. Um, I love the Zerto cheese. You can use any cheese. This is Romano. It comes in Asiago, four cheese, Parmesan. You can buy whatever brand, low fat brand you want. One tablespoon will be zero for three of these tomatoes. Even, oh, my oven's ready. Um, I just stuck some in. Oh, and it's, oh, I'm going to take it out before it burns. Okay, I have it preset because I wanted to show you. Um, and thank God I put the timer on. And it cancel the timer. So you're going to heat your oven, um, preheat your oven to 350 degrees. You can use convection or not. You can use your little toaster oven if you're just making a few for yourself. Um, and if you're making a lot, use a nice large cookie sheet. Line it with some um, uh, tin foil and spray it well, okay? Super easy. I'm just using a couple of small garlic cloves and I'm going to crush it. Really simple. And I'm just going to add it to a small bowl. Just some crushed garlic. If you want to use large amount, you can use a lot. You don't have to. You can use one. Um, depends what you like. If you don't have fresh garlic, it's better with fresh garlic. You could use some garlic powder. Why not? I'm going to use a teaspoon of my olive oil. I think I put a little bit too much. And just mix that around. I'm going to put a little bit of salt on each one. I'm just using a little bit of my Himalayan pink salt, but you can use whatever salt. You don't have to be so fancy. All right, so ridiculously easy, okay? Simple, easy, but of course it's gonna make your kitchen smell amazing, and when your guests see it, they're gonna be super impressed. So you're just gonna add about a teaspoon on each one. And just mix just spread it out and then I have my cheese and I'm just going to have a tablespoon you want more cheese you can add more cheese you don't really need a ton and of course I'm all about the smart point so I don't like to use a ton 
but if you wanted to use mozzarella, you could use mozzarella, okay? There's no rules. My recipes are just, what? A uh, base, and you can do what you like. And I like to sprinkle just a dab of some pepper on top, just a little bit. And you're gonna put it on a cookie sheet. I'm just gonna show you that I put it in the oven. Dun, da, da, da. The magic of having it already baked. So um, I'm gonna take these off and they're hot and they smell amazing. They smell like garlic bread. So you see, if you wanted to have garlic bread but without all the carbs, you just make this and there you have it. So 375 for about 10, 15 minutes, and then you can put it on broil for a couple of minutes just to get it nice and brown on the top. If you want to use your large oven, if you're only making a few, use your little toaster oven um, so you don't use up so much heat, okay? And that's it. Here it is. Super amazing. It's hot. I'm going to take a bite. Oh. Mmm. Yum me. <laughs> so again, this whole recipe for six um, tomatoes is three smart points. You can use less oil. You can use spray oil. Um, it's up to you. You don't have to use oil. You could just use garlic and cheese and salt and pepper and make it with zero points um, for this. Okay. Whatever you want. So I hope you love this recipe and continue to visit me at my Facebook group and subscribe. Don't forget to like and to do some thumbs up for me. All right. Take care. Bye for now. I told you I make easy recipes. Oh, before I go, I just wanted to show you that I also made these delicious. Look at this. Chocolate chip banana muffins chocolatey banana muffins okay so check that out too and lots more recipes i just did also lasagna in a mug but i've got so many so check them out and love you guys i'm saying bye now bye for now oh and don't forget all my recipes are written underneath each video so don't forget you want to take a slide uh, a slide um oh my god take a screenshot Take a screenshot so then you can save my recipes or just keep them from YouTube. Bye for now.